This is Good Morning San Diego. Get ready to throw their graduation caps into the air because the San Diego County Board of Education is fighting for high school seniors to receive at least one special day before they call it a high school career. After the break, board member Mark Powell will be joining Lauren to discuss their proposal. When Good Morning San Diego returns, there's Mr. Powell. It is 642. Well, after receiving over 100 formal written requests from high school senior parents, the San Diego Board of Education decides to propose a plan which would allow seniors to graduate in person after losing so much. Joining us over Skype to discuss the plan is San Diego County Board Member Mark Powell. Mark, good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. Okay, Thank you. I want to I, I want to get into the details of this. This seems very well thought out, um, a great idea. But can we talk quickly? Who has to approve this for this to actually happen? That's one of the toughest questions that I'm still trying to determine whether it's going to be the governor or the um, superintendent of instruction um, for California. But whatever, whoever it is, we're lobbying everybody, or I'm going to bring this up as an agenda item for us to push to have high school seniors in the class of 2020 have a formal graduation that is completely safe to the public. Yes, so let's talk about some of the, the parameters that this would include. Obviously, you'd be holding them outside in a high school football field area. What are some of the other parameters that, that you've proposed? Well, if you look at research, research in San Diego shows that of the 500,000 students in San Diego, 304 have tested positive for coronavirus. That's children or students under the age of 19. And of those, there are zero deaths. That equates to 0.0006% of the students had coronavirus. So what I would propose is have um, the students come in, social distance, have face coverings, um, have washing stations, temperature check them before they enter a football field arena and make it completely voluntary for, for parents and students to attend the ceremony. Yes, and you'd limit the family members to immediate family only. They would also be socially distanced, you know, within their family groups. Um, and so that, and, and they would be required to do the temperature checks as well before entering the stadium. And so it seems as though the safety precautions are, are there. How have other board members received this idea? Um, the other board members um, have received all the same information that I received regarding the opening of a formal graduation. And also, just to note, Lauren, these high school seniors, they're already working in fast food restaurants. They're delivering food. They jog on the beach. They walk through Home Depot, Walmart, grocery stores, just like we all do, that lets thousands, tens of thousands of people are walking through these places and they social distance. We, there's really no reason why these kids can't sit in a football field six feet apart in an area where we know for a fact that coronavirus doesn't do well in degrees above 77 uh, Fahrenheit. So I'm not sure what the holdup is to have some type of formal um, ceremony for some parents um, their child is the first in the generation that's ever graduated from high school they and these kids have already been stripped of their prom grad night um, senior awards day um, commitment day when they announce where they're going to go to college every single event that shapes their high school senior experience has been ripped away from them Let's give them this one thing. Give them one thing to remember. Let them have a graduation. Yeah, and we should also mention that in addition to uh, th this safe version of a graduation, you would also be live streaming it for students who didn't feel comfortable going, family members who are maybe in a high risk category that don't feel comfortable going. Uh, they would still be able to watch the graduation because it would also be live streamed. Absolutely, make no mistake about it. It's nobody's intent 
to put anyone in harm's way. We do not want anyone, especially high-risk students, high-risk staff members, teachers, any ad adults, parents, grandparents, to be exposed or put at risk to coronavirus, N not at all. But what we do want, or what I want, I'm speaking on behalf of myself, what I want is for the students that want to participate safely in a formal graduation setting, be allowed to. Um, you know, with this shutdown, we've experienced an increase in child abuse, alcohol use, drug use. Um, there's a whole lot of emotional anxiety, stress, even suicide that's going on with these kids. They need one day to celebrate. Let's give those high school seniors their one day to celebrate in a public forum. Well, you've obviously put a lot of thought into this and, and creating a safe uh, avenue here. What is what is the next step from here in order to see if this gets approved? The next step is at our next meeting, we bring it up as a formal agenda item and put it on our docket so that we can vote on it. But what I'm hoping for is that parents and teachers that, that want this, let's lobby the governor, let's lobby the superintendent of public instruction, and let's uh, let them allow us to have this graduation done safely, outdoors, social distancing, face covering, hand washing, temperature checking. And the, the funny thing about it is these kids are already out in the environment. They're already out exposed to coronavirus if it's out there in in that number yeah i see a number of them working uh in in uh the, the fast food restaurants or out in the street with with uh, their friends hanging out so a number of them are uh, already out and about but uh keep us updated on this mark powell and we will uh, continue to follow this and see if this is something that uh will happen for our seniors thank you so much for your time this we're, morning. we're gonna thank you very much for having me thanks mark